Okay, BTEC 150 students, let's look at the IF formula. I'm starting with this worksheet that's called Absolutes, PMT, and IFs. And we're going to write some IF formulas um, here in column G, H, and I. And in reality, I should have written I first before H, but let's not worry that this isn't making sense. This isn't to make sense. This is for us to practice using the IF formula. Okay, the first thing we want to do is find the average of the tests for each student. And then we'll use this extra credit when we are looking at the last IF formula here. So the average formula should be pretty easy for you. I'm going to say equal average, just like I would any formula equal sum, equal average, equal min, equal max, okay? And I'm just going to click and drag right down the middle of those three test scores. And at this point, I don't need to close the parenthesis. Excel will do it for me, but if I want to, I can close it. So then I hit the Enter key. And sure enough, there's my answer, 85. Now I'm going to use my fill handle and drag down. And I want to make sure that I didn't add in the E column, so it's B5 through D5, because I'm finding the average of these numbers, and I can't find the average of a Y, right? So this would just mess up my formula. So I make sure that I only grabbed those three cells. Now I'm going to center these for a minute so that my IF formula isn't so close. All right, time for the first IF formula. Now I have my window a little bit small here because I'm trying to keep this video file smaller so I'm not recording a whole big thing here. I'm going to do this first if formula by typing it out. The second if formula I'm going to use the function box. But this first one, all I'm going to do is type. So I'm going to type equal if, open parenthesis. And it's giving me here what I need to do. And the first one is the logical test or the argument. And what I want to, the computer to say is, if this is greater than 75, then they passed. If it's not greater than 75, then they didn't pass. So we are going to use text, pass and no pass. So if this number right here, we're not putting the number in, we're putting the cell reference. If this number is greater than 75, then what happens? So this is my logical test. It's done. So I need that comma there to separate it. Comma, what will happen? Well, then I want this, I want the word pass in this column. Okay? That's the true value. And what will happen if it's false? Well, I need again, I need that comma to separate it. Comma, and again, the, the quotes, because I'm using text, no pass, end quotes, and close parenthesis. Okay. Now, we talked about absolutes also in class today, and we're going to look at absolute values over here. I didn't use any absolute values in here. I'm just going to leave it like this for a minute, and I'm going to hit the Enter key and see what happens. Sure enough, 85 is greater than 75, so this person passed. But now in class we talked about, oh, I'm going to put this in the center again. In class we talked about, well, what, why are we using the number 75? Why don't we just put 75 somewhere up here, and then we can use an absolute reference to point to it. So I'm going to do the if formula again, but I'm going to do it that way. So I'm going to put 75 up here, and now I'm going to do the if formula, the exact same if formula, but instead of typing in 75, I'm going to put in this value, um, F3, and I'm going to make it absolute. So I'm going to say equal if, open parenthesis, and in this case it's not this one, it, this one, it's Sally's number here. If F6 is greater than this value, I don't have to put in a number now, but I do have to make it absolute. Remember that's the F4 function key there and it may put a dollar sign before the F and a dollar sign before the 3. So if F6 is greater than whatever this value is, then what's going to happen? That's my test. So what's going to happen if it's true? 
I want it to say pass, and you have to put the capital letters if you want the capital letters to show. Otherwise, if you don't, let me show you, no pass, unquote. It's not going to capitalize for us. And I have to put my um, closing parenthesis on here. Otherwise, I'll get an error message and it'll say, um, you know, error, you forgot something. Do you want Excel to fix it for you? And you say, you can just say yes. But in this case, I'll just put it there so it works. Okay? And sure enough, this is above 70. So it, it's again a pass. But if I click and drag this down, I can see some people have not passed. I'll put these in the center. And you see that no pass is not capitalized. So I can just go back in here and I can change this to capital letters if I want to or I don't have to worry about it. So when I did that, it put this little green thing up there. And what that means is this formula is not like the other ones. So I'm going to click this little arrow. It says inconsistent because I changed the letters from lowercase to uppercase. Ah, we don't care. It doesn't matter. Whoops, I'll center them again. Okay? All right. Now I could have just clicked and dragged this all the way down, and it will capitalize it because I capitalized it inside this one. But I wanted to show you that absolute value, which we're going to do again when we get to sheet one here. But anyway, all right. So somehow you're going to make the formula. Let me undo, undo. So redo. So either write this formula using 75 or this formula using um, the, uh, the cell where you put the number 75. Both of these are exactly the same. Okay? The argument really is if this is greater than whatever, then pass or no pass. Okay? All right, I'll just leave it like this. Now we need a nested if. This is a little bit trickier, and so I'm going to use the function box for this. So I'm going to open the function box, and because I've used the if formula recently here in my office, it's sitting up there. But if not, I could um, type in if and tell it to go there, and again, it would find it. It found some other some ifs that I used, but this is the one I want. I'm going to say okay. So here's my box, okay? and here's those three parts. Now look up here, the formula bar is going to start typing this at the same time I'm typing down here. So uh, there's, there's too many here. I don't want a nested if of, of three or four, and, and so in class we change this, and I will change it again here on this video. And we're just going to have A, B, or F. I'm going to get rid of the C. So I have only that one nested if. So again, the test is if this number is greater than something. And in this case, the A means it's greater than 89, because then that means it's 90, 90 or above. If I wanted to use the number 90, I would have to say equal to or greater than 90. But in this case, I'm just going to say it has to be greater than 89, and it'll find everything greater than 89. So if F5 is greater than 89, what's going to happen? Quote the letter A. Okay. If not, well then what happens? Well, we need another if formula in here. I don't type another equal because equal is only at the beginning of the formula to tell Excel to turn math functions on. Okay. So it already knows we're in math mode. I'm not going to have to type equal again. I'll just type if. Now look, my parentheses are a different color. So if this number, whatever's in there, is greater than, well, now we want it to say B. So it has to be greater than 79, which means 80 or above. Then what will happen? Then B. Whoops. And our last thing is what happens the false? What happens if it's not A or B? Well, instead of typing another if formula, we're just going to um, say F. Or we could type the word fail or something like that. And now I have to close this parenthesis in here because this if formula has to be within its parenthesis. 
And you can see up here, it color coded it. Here's this one green, the second if formula. And the first if, if formula was black, so it's there. Okay. So here's my nested if. I'm going to say, okay, and look, I have the answer already. This person is 85, and sure enough, 85 is a B. I'm going to say, okay. And I can click and drag down, or I can, you know, make all of my formulas and then click and drag down. Oh, yeah, okay, well, I, won't, I won't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to put that in the center. I'm trying to leave some visual um, space between each answer so you see it clearer, so I keep centering it. All right, so now we want to say, if they got extra credit, then they're going to get a 10% rise in their grade. So in their average, it's going to raise by 10% if they have extra credit. So this is just an if formula. If this is true, then do this. If not, don't do this. So I'm going to, again, I can either type equal if and type it out, or I can open the function box and do it within the box. You decide which is easier. I'm right here now, so I might as well use the function box. So if, in this case, if extra credit, if this says yes, now we have to put it within quotes because it's text. If this cell says Y, then something happens, right? This number is going to increase by 10%. So I don't have 10% sitting anywhere, so I'm going to have to actually use the number. So it's this increased by 10%. Now in class we talked about two or three different ways to do that. I, I'm just going to do it this way in this uh, video, but there's many different ways. I'm just going to increase it by 110, per, uh, multiply it by 110%. So that will give me 85 plus 10% more, which is 93.5. Okay. So uh, you could do, you know, F5 times 10% plus F5 or, you know, lots of different ways. If not, what's going to happen? Well, if not, the grade just stays the same. Okay. So if, if, it, they, if, if it's not a yes, then just leave it at that number. Okay. So it's already giving me the answer right here. All right. Now, do you see what I mean? I should have done this before I did the grade because if I was really doing this for a class, 93.5 is not a B, 93.5 is an A. But anyway, we're just practicing. So I'm going to highlight these two because the both of them are right, and then I'm going to click and drag down. Okay? So feel free to watch this video over and over until you um, kind of get it. Go slow work out the if formula in different ways, play with it, the nested if, with letters, without letters, and um, at, let me know if you have any other questions. I'm going to do another video on PMTs and another video on absolute values.